many videos on YouTube right now and he's saying don't drink coffee, it's, it's mentally controlling you, uh, you don't understand, but it's really like an addiction, uh, I don't know, what, coffee, your take on it, good, bad? So, uh, I, I say good, again, it depends on the person and your goal. If we look at caffeine, there, obviously there's other components in coffee that provide benefit, there's actually antioxidants, uh, and if you, look at the, if you look at the data, because people's diets are so poor, most people get the majority of their antioxidants from coffee. <laughs> Seriously, because their diet's so poor. But again, there are antioxidants in coffee. There's other things. But let's, what do we typically drink it for? It's the caffeine, right? So let's talk about caffeine, the benefit of caffeine. If we're talking about somebody who's under 18 with a not fully developed brain, caffeine's very bad. It changes brain connections as they found, okay? However, in a fully developed brain, it can help cognition. It can prevent some of the degeneration that I talked about with aging. Um, so I, I find caffeine, uh, I, I don't demonize caffeine like most people. Same with sugar. You know, it, 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 it fits in your diet as long as the goal is there. Um, and again, like I said, if you're drinking it from coffee or whatever, there's other benefits as well. But caffeine itself can be beneficial. Mm. What are some of the benefits? Uh, antioxidants basically has vitamins. It gives you energy, right? Like natural energy, basically. Coffee or caffeine? Coffee, yeah, caffeine, yeah. Caffeine. Yeah, well, coffee, yeah. Well, caffeine itself doesn't have antioxidants. That's just one of the components of the coffee. Uh, the coffee bean is providing the antioxidants. Uh, in there, but if we talk about the benefits of caffeine, like I said, uh, we see less cognitive uh, decline uh, and, you know, just general sharpness, uh, better cognition throughout the day. And, and interesting, they find that smaller doses throughout the day tend to be better than taking like a large dose. Uh, mm, micro dose. Yeah, exactly. It's, it keeps you nice and steady and focused. What are some of the negative, I guess, if bad things that come with drinking coffee anything you can think of for caffeine well I, obviously if you have a heart condition right mm -hmm. there are some people that can't uh, or anxiety issues it can raise them so gotcha um let's talk about alcohol your take on alcohol consumption um you know again if you're training if you go to the gym you're trying to get gains you're not trying to be fat you know maybe not for bodybuilders per se but generally speaking for people that are gym enthusiasts um, yeah, I, I, I'm Italian, so I uh, lean towards, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen all the health benefits of wine? <laughs> and even hard liquor, you know, there, there, there are benefits, obviously. Uh, obviously, there's, there's health issues as well. Um, but obviously, we're talking about in moderation. I see no issues at all in alcohol consumption. I mean, look, we can talk about... Uh, what it does metabolically, um, but unless you're an alcoholic who's consuming it all day long, you know, having a few drinks. And again, as long in, if you're getting ready for a show, it's it's really about the macros. I, you know, because those are empty. You're not getting anything. You're getting calories, but you're not getting any protein. You're not get, even getting carbs. You're not getting fat. So, but it's calories that that are going to affect your you know total calorie consumption so if you're getting ready for a show or whatnot uh, it's a problem on literally the the calorie side that wouldn't worry so much about the, you know it's it's gonna make me fat you know it's again unless you're an alcoholic in moderation not a problem mm -hmm. so basically um, you, enjoy, you know that and that's the other thing i try to tell people is you have to why are you why do you want to be fit so you can enjoy life better, right? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know, <laughs> most people enjoy food and alcohol as part of their life. So, um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess the you mentioned the empty calories, right? Um, yes. Can, can sort of like people basically, right, they have a, live a normal st lifestyle and go to the gym. Can they basically, can alcohol prevent them? If they have in drinking moderation on the weekends, let's say, can it prevent them from, you know, getting basically chiseled? You know what I'm saying? Because so is putting on the fat on you. Chiseled, sure. I mean, it's not. Look, if, you know, when we look at a 
when we look at bodies, we have a different perspective uh, being bodybuilding, right? You know, like you may see James Bond getting out of the, the ocean and everybody's just, oh my God, look at the abs. And all of us are like, what? <laughs> Those aren't abs. <laughs> you know, so it's like, what is the person's goal, right? Do they want, how lean do they want to be? Do they want to be 3% body fat? Then probably drinking alcohol in moderation is going to prevent them when I'm especially when you're trying to maintain those levels, if you're walking around at eight, ten percent body fat, it, it's not gonna, not gonna throw off your plan. 